single, Dead Cities, to crash straight into the top 30, selling over 150,000 records and moving an unearthly appearance on top of the pops, which the BBC now claim we have no record of the band ever appearing on this show. This is Dead City! single that was uh, starting to do very very well and they had an appearance on top of the pops which was just hysterical I mean it was quite ridiculous and I think a lot of their fans thought at the time that they were selling out and they just missed the point that they were just totally taking the piss and uh, the single was selling very well and the day, I always remember the day before we did top of the pops they sold 15,000 singles in one afternoon and the day after Top of the Pops was aired, they sold 50. <laughs> that was, uh, it was one of the, it was probably the only group that sold less records the day after than the day before. What did uh, you make of the Top of the Pops appearance? Um, oh, that was, that was quite amazing, really. I mean, the single came out, Dead Cities came out, and it sold an incredible amount and charted, and then it was, oh, we want them on Top of the Pops. Um, went along there that the probably I mean they did set it up very well they set it up with explosions and pyrotechnic devices and everything to go with it which was very good on, on behalf of Top of the Pops um, the, some of the most difficult things was trying to keep Big John the guitarist you know who was about 22 stone there with a bright green Mohican from joining in with Legs and Co on the dance floor we had to try and keep him back all the time he wanted to be part of that and they were doing the birdie song at the time which made it even worse because it was the most puerile thing um, 
But it went very well, uh, surprisingly well. I mean, it completely stopped the record selling, as far as I remember. <laughs> Everybody went, they're on top of the pops, I'm not buying that. And it killed it stone dead. But it was still a wonderful experience to do it with, uh, with a band like that. Not, you don't get many of those chances. <laughs> The band's first headline tour was the now infamous Apocalypse Now Tour. Teaming up with Discharge, Antipasti and Cron Gen, this tour really helped put punk back on the map and wage war on the establishment. Still constantly gigging from one end of the country to the other, paved the way for the...